All right, hello grade twos, geometry. It's a wonderful world with geometry. Very important that we have geometry here. Okay, um, here's the question. How are the shapes sorted? And so I look, I always think, okay, there's a party going on inside this circle. And why did these two get invited to the party and then this, these four 3D shapes did not? And I'm going, well, square side, square side. That's not the reason. Uh, maybe this, maybe it's a sir, maybe it's, and then it kind of hit me. Oh, these are shaded. So to get into the party, you have to be shaded. All right, so that's that one there. Okay, now this question is for this whole big rectangle. So we've got two parties going on. Okay, so this is like party number one, party number one, party number two. And you feel bad for the sphere. You feel bad for the cube because, you know, they're sad. They don't get to go to the parties. So it's really impolite of group one and group two. Okay, so what did you have to do to get into group one? Ah, what do I see here? Pointy top. Do not want to sit on it. And it has a flat bottom. Here, you have to imagine the flat bottom because it's, uh, it's being hidden. So these are called pyramids. So let me check. You're not a pyramid. That's why you didn't get invited. You didn't get invited because you're not a pyramid. You're a cylinder, definitely. You're a cone and you're a cylinder. Yeah, this is a pyramid party. So pyramids only. All right, so now let's figure out why did these shapes get in here? This is, has a pointy part, but there's no pointy part here and no pointy part here. There is a circle. Uh, there is a circle. And there is a circle. Circle faces only. Okay, so very very rude group one group two group one says pyramids only group two says oh yeah you can only come if you have a circle face and these two get left out oh it's very sad i'll let you guys figure out these two all right this is important a curved face like th this this part of the cone is curved it can roll if it's a flat face it can either stand still or you could make it slide all right so put a check mark on what the shape can do color the curved surfaces orange color the flat surfaces blue so they do one for us so well, they don't. This isn't blue. They just put the word blue. I want my money back. And then the curved surface is orange. Uh, you could roll on the orange side and you could slide if you tipped it over, put it on the blue, and you, then you could slide it on the blue. Okay, so color the curved face orange. So me need orange. This is the closest color to orange I have. So this is the curved surface. Oh, now it looks like a cake. Um, and the flat surface is blue. So go back to blue. And this is the flat surface. Oh, it looks like a Dairy Queen ice cream cake. Remember earlier in the year, I said, what's the correct answer to any question? Dairy Queen ice cream cake. Oh. It's true. Okay, so on this orange side, we could roll it. On this top 
or bottom blue side, we could slide it. Um, let's take a look at this one. Okay, this is called Mr. Sphere or Miss Sphere or Mrs. Sphere. And it's a curved surface, so it gets orange. So let's go orange and go back here. And I'll just do some, well, I'll do some curvy orange lines. Hey, <laughs> Mr. V. It looks like a hairball that a cat spit up. All right, um, so this sphere is orange. It's only going to roll. It, it, it doesn't have a flat surface that it can slide on. So let's go, let's take a look. Ah, I think you get that one. Um, use letters. Sorry. Oh, why did I saw that up? Because I don't like that color. There, that's better. Use the letters to sort the shapes. Okay, so. We've got a teeny weeny uh, cone, um, a larger rectangular prism, a larger cylinder, Mr. Tiny Sphere, Mr. Tiny Cube, and Mrs. Pyramid Large. Okay, so which ones are large? B is large, C is large, and F is large. So what's small? A, D, and E. They give you a lot of room to put those letters. Which ones have a square face? A, no. B, B yes. C, no square face. D, no square face. E, it only has square faces. F, it has only one square face, but that's enough. Which has a circular face? A. Uh, no circular faces in B. C has a circular face. Now, this is really weird. D, they say it has no face. So even though it has that circle shape, we, we don't actually put it in here. It's very strange. But if you did put it in here, I wouldn't mark it wrong. I would just say, you know what, people, scientists say that that is not a face. That's what they do. So, um, curved faces, I think you guys can do that. Um, all right, vertices are basically where two lines meet is a vertex. We've talked about this in the classroom, on the carpet, when we used to have carpet. And... Uh, a vertex, when you have one point, it's a vertex. When you have many points, it's vertices. But so you're, you're just thinking of points where the lines connect. So in a cube, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. Okay. In this pyramid, you've got one, two, three, four. Five. You've got five points or five vertices. Um, these going up and down are edges. Okay. And uh, edges are edges. They're not vertices. Okay. So count the number of vertices. One, two, three. One, two, three, 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 six. Um, ooh, this one looks fun. One, two, three, four, five, and then way at the top, six. Oh, bonus. Well, we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then for every, this, the six at the top, there's six at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12 vertices. Okay, now we get to the edges, all right? So it's kind of hard to see, but that is one edge. This is a second edge. This 
line is an edge, and they put this as a dotted line, meaning you don't see it, but it's there, okay? Uh, this is an edge, and this is an edge, and then that, uh, that you don't see is an edge, so you have six edges. Let's do this very first one. Here's one edge, one. A second edge, I'm just gonna use tick marks. A third edge. And then the up and down edges, one, two, three. So one, two, three. And then the edges, they're, they're like the ones at the top, but they're at the bottom. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and then you count. Three, six, nine. Nine edges. Woohoo! Um, let's do this one here. One edge, two edges, three edges, four edges. So one, two, three, four. And then I've got this one, two, three. And then the invisible line, four. So I've got four more. And that's it. Four and four gives me eight edges. Um, if you want, you can find a real 3D object in your home and count the edges. Like a soup can would have two edges. Uh, the circular edge at, at top, circular edge at bottom. Uh, if you have toothpicks, and some uh, play-doh then you can make some of these polygons it's a fun activity in class what i usually use are toothpicks and marshmallows and there's always one student that when you see, you collect the marshmallows at the end they said i didn't get any marshmallows and then i sit look at them i say you ate the marshmallows didn't you and they look at me sad and they go yes i ate the marshmallows and that's okay. Uh, I don't tell them that the marshmallows have been in the cabinet for six years. You know, they don't seem to mind that. So if you've got some toothpicks and some marshmallows, or if you want it to go, if someone's going out for an important reason already to uh, White Shield Plaza, if they're already going to be in Dollarama, they could pick up some marshmallows and toothpicks and you could have fun building these. Take pictures and show me because um, they're awesome to look at. And then when you're done, yeah, with your parents' permission, you could eat them. All right, this is important. You need to know above, below, left, and right. I always remember right because that's the foot I like to kick a ball with. If I kick it with my right foot, I kick it hard. If I kick it with my left foot, I usually miss the ball. Above means it's like the sky. Below, it's like the ground. Okay, so here you've got this lovely, what are they calling it, a circle? Now they're not even giving it a name. The heart is above, the square is below, the star is to the left, and then the, the uh, part moon is to the right. So above, below, left, right. Say that 10 times in a row real quick. Above, below, left, right. 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 You know how we used to do that in class. Oh, good times. Uh, circle the shape on the left, you're on the left, you're on the left, you're on the left. Circle the shape on the right, you're on the right, you're on the right, you're on the right, you're on the right. What is this? Where is the circle? Uh, here, it's on the right. And here, it's on the left. And it should say, stop okay which circle the shape that is above okay yeah okay we got it. Uh, color all the lines of all circle all color all the rows above red Ooh red 
Okay, so you're above, you're above, you're above, you're above, you're above. Oh, everyone is above here. Okay, I'm working very quickly, obviously, because I don't want to take up too much of your valuable time. Uh, but underneath are below blue. So you are below, you're blue, you're below, you're blue, you're below, and you're below, you're below, you're below, and you two rows are below. Ah! Green and yellow. I don't know if I, I do have green. Okay, so to the left is green. So you're green, 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 you're green. To the right, yellow. We only have that sort of, it's kind of like a barfy color. Yellow, yellow. Why didn't they make it nice bright yellow? To the right is yellow. And yellow, yellow, and Bob's your uncle. And that's it, grade twos. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions, remember all you need is to tell me page number. And question number. And then like part letter like because usually it's part a b c d just give me these three things and we can have a little we, we could even have a google meet like for for like five minutes and i guarantee you i'll you'll understand the problem when we're done our conversation okay so it's great talking to you grade twos i know that this is not difficult for some of you, but for some of you, those math words are new. So it is a bit trickier for some students. So let's not be all judgmental and all that. Let's be um, thoughtful. Okay, grade twos, toodles.